good morning children so now you are learning the chapter subtraction isn't it and what you learned in the last class in the last class you learned the rules of subtraction and in today's class you are going to learn the word problems of subtraction we will have a look at the question the first question is rahul had five apples he ate one apple how many apples are left with him i repeat rahul had five apples he ate one apple how many apples are left with him did you get the uh, meaning children there is a boy named rahul and how uh, what what he is having he is having apples with him how many apples he had he had five apples and what he did with that apples among that five apples he ate ate nu varna kalchu among that five apples he ate one apple now what you asked to find you are asked to find the number of apples left with him left with him nu varna baaki vannathu five apples la one apple he already ate now you are asked to find how many apples are left with him etra apples baaki vannu now we can try to find the answer okay so since the question is given in uh, sentence we have to write the answer also in statements so we can start writing the first statement here some number is given number of apples are given isn't it children so your first statement will start with the word number the first statement will start with the word number number of number of what is given children in this question number of apples are given so you write number of apples what's the first sentence rahul had five apples so you can write the first statement as number of apples rahul had number of apples rahul had how many apples rahul had children he had five apples isn't it so you write that number five here now which is the second sentence he ate one apple where apple uh, rahul kalchu so what he did with the apple he ate it so again one is given one is the number of apple one is the number of apple so you have to write here number of number of apples apples he ate how many apples he ate he ate only one apple isn't it so you can write that number one here this is equal to one now the last uh, sentence how many apples are left with him baki aayidu so you can write the last statement and here the last statement also start with the word number of the first statement is starting with number of second is starting with number of and the last statement will also start with the word number of number of what children number of apples number of apples but you have to write left with him that is the question itself number of apples left with him how will you find the answer children already he had five i mean that five he ate one how will you find the answer you have to subtract one from the number five isn't it and do you remember the symbol for subtraction sign for subtraction what is that it's minus how will you put minus like this isn't it so here you have to find 5 minus 1 what is 5 minus 1 last day you learned one rule isn't it when we subtract one from a number what is the answer answer is a number that is coming just before the given number isn't it so here 5 minus 1 are no which is the number that is coming just before 5 it is number 4 so your answer is 
So here we got the answer for the first question. Rahul had five apples. He ate one apple. And how many apples are left with him now? Four apples. Is it clear? Now we will do the next one. Next question. Seven birds were sitting on a tree. Two of them flew away. How many birds are left on the tree? Do you understand the meaning children? There was a tree and on that tree how many birds were sitting? Seven birds. And after some time some birds flew away. Flew away means what? Parannaboy. How many birds flew away children? Two birds. Among seven birds, two of them flew away. Now you are asked to find a number of birds left on the tree. Left on the tree in the varna? Baki either. Seven birds, two birds already flew away. Now you have to find how many birds are left on the tree. So can we start writing? In this question, numbers of what is given children? Numbers of birds are given, isn't it? Now, how many birds were sitting on the tree? Seven birds. So now we can start writing the statement for that. Here also start writing with the word number, number of, number of what children? Number of birds, number of birds. What they were doing? They were sitting on a tree, isn't it? They were sitting on a tree. So number of birds sitting on a tree. How many birds were sitting on that tree? Seven birds. So this is equal to seven. Now, two of them flew away. What they did? Two birds, what they did? They flew away. So how many birds flew away children? Two birds. So we can write this statement. Again start writing from number of. You must start from the word number of. Number of what children? Number of birds. Number of birds flew away. Paranaboida. Flew away. How many birds flew away? Two birds. Put equal to and write the number two. How many birds flew away children? Two birds. Now what you are asked to find? How many birds are left on the tree? So again you can start writing with number of. As I told earlier the third statement will also start with number of. Number of birds Number of birds, what children? Number of birds left on the tree. Number of birds left on the tree. How will you find the answer? For that you have to subtract 2 from 7 because already 7 birds were there. Among that 2 flew away. So subtract number 2 from number 7. For that, you put the symbol for subtraction. Now you can start. How will you subtract children? 7 minus 2. How will you find the answer? Start counting after the smaller number till you reach the bigger number. Isn't it? Which is a smaller number among 7 and 2. Among 7 and 2, 2 is the smaller number. So start counting after 2 till you reach the number 7. So can we start counting? After 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We reach 7. Isn't it children? Now how many fingers are raised? 5 fingers. So your answer is 5. I repeat here we have to find 7 minus 2. So you have to count after 2 till you reach 7. After 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 5 fingers are raised. So, you must write that 5 as your answer. Is it clear? We will discuss one more example. The last question of today's video. Mary bought 9 eggs. Out of them, 4 broke. How many eggs are left with her? 
Mary bought nine eggs. There's a girl named Mary. He went. She went to a shop and she bought nine eggs. Bought means what, children? Bought means made. Chu. The shop will go it. Made. Chu. How many eggs she bought? She bought nine eggs. And uh, on the way to her home, what happened, children? Out of them, four broke. Broke means forty poi. Nine eggs made. Chu. The la four eggs forty poi. But you are asked to find. how many eggs are left with her okay so we can start writing the statements here number of what is given children number of eggs are given isn't it Num uh, how many eggs mary bought she bought nine eggs so we can write the statement for that again start writing uh, with the word number of number of number of what number of x number of x mary bought number of x mary bought how many x she bought is equal to 9 again what happened to that x children out of them 4x Broke four x broke. So you can write the statement for that. Number of x. What broke, children? X broke, isn't it? Number of x broke. How many x broke? Four. Number of x broke is equal to four. Now. How many eggs are left with her? You are asked to find the number of eggs left with her. Baki varna eggs. So you can write the statement and again start writing with number of. Number of eggs. Again, what should you write? Number of eggs left with her. Number of eggs. left with her how many x are left with the children 9 minus 4 isn't it to find the answer you have to subtract it and this is a symbol for subtraction uh, uh, this is your symbol for subtraction 9 minus 4 how will you find 9 minus 4 start counting after 4 till you reach the number 9 we can start counting after 4 5 6 7 8 nine how many fingers are raised five fingers so your answer is five once again here nine eggs were there out of them four broke so you are asked to find the eggs left with her to find the final answer you are subtracting the number four from the number nine for that for to subtract what you have to do you have to start counting after the smaller number till you reach the bigger number here in numbers 9 and 4 4 is the smaller number so you have to count after 4 till you reach 9 after 4 5 6 7 8 9 how many fingers are raised five fingers so five is your final answer is it clear to all Okay, children. So you will get worksheets very soon. You will be getting the worksheets. When you get the worksheets, please do the word problems correctly. Okay. Thank you.